all my people, Bree Slay here, aka the beauty plug, all that connects you to your beautiful. And listen, if you want to know the T on the T on the T on, and pronu pr forgive me my pronunciation on, I believe the brand is called Fleur. It's strawberry letter that has been all over talked about. If you want to know the real T on the T on the T and what my thoughts are on it, whether it's a stay or a slay, then um, come on now. You know what to do. Oh, people. Okay, people. So I'm coming, y'all. Regular schmegler degla. Ain't got no earrings on. As you can see, I got a new color. A little pink. A little spring season. Stay tuned for my sense for spring. It's coming up. But today's video is about the strawberry letter. Now, I've been seeing people talk about it, rave about it. I've been seeing people... In particular, Sharita is who I watched and saw her video and was like, oh, she, keep, she was posting when it was back in stock, back in stock. And I can't really say strawberry is a particular note that I really love in fragrances. But now that I think about it, the fragrances I like have strawberry in it. So I believe Madison Avenue has strawberry in it. I believe um, by Bottom Ram, I believe um, YSL Montpari has a strawberry note in it. The new that I just did a review, check it out. Um, the new Miss Dior Parfum, um, who was made by MFK. His, he was a nose behind it, has strawberry, a strawberry note in it. So, I'm here to talk about strawberry letter. Now, please excuse my nails, y'all. Y'all know I always have them nails did, but it's coming. It's taking a little, a little break, getting a little air. Anyway, so, strawberry fleur, not strawberry fleur, strawberry letter is a fragrance that I would say has a fruity, but fruit, fruity adult light with a sexy twist, if that makes sense. Usually when we think of fragrances that have strawberry or fruit in them, that is considered gourmand. But usually when we think of strawberries or fruity fragrances, we think very teenage and youthful, which is all well and good. But when you want to be grown in sex. You don't particularly say, okay, you know what? I'm going to smell like a strawberry. Now, if you want to get eaten up, then of course. But I just feel like I had to get my hands on it and bring y'all guys what I thought about it. So I unboxed this. I got it about two weeks ago. I just unboxed it because I went away for a quick second and now I'm back. And I just unboxed it and it was just like sitting there. And so I was like, all right, let me just unbox it. I sprayed it. It seems like the longevity is giving something. It's giving some length. But I haven't worn it out yet or tested it out yet officially. So this is kind of like a first impressions, but not. Um, so let me go get the notes. I thought I had my notes here on this, what the what fragrances were in, notes were, what notes were in this fragrance. So let me go get the notes and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. So it was, it's been released, it's been, it was released in 2024. And it has top notes of strawberry, plum, cassis, mid notes of red poppy, apple blossom, and lily, and base notes of sugar, earthy notes, tonka bean, and amber. Now, when I originally smelled this, I was like, wow, I think I smell a little bit of patchouli in it. Um, and I don't know if what, what they mean by earthy notes is necessarily patchouli because patchouli has an earthy smell to it. And a lot of the times, I think just for marketing purposes, they won't say patchouli because sometimes patchouli can be very off-putting to people once they hear that that note is in the fragrance. So I feel like that was a little spin with this, a little spin. So let's see, right? Let me just re refresh my memory. Now, when I look on Fragrantica, I got these notes. I saw that they were comparing this fragrance a lot to, because when I first smelled it, I'm trying to say to myself, I'm like, what does this smell like, right? It's giving, what is it smelling like? And let me spray it on this card here that I put the notes on. Once I looked on Fragrance again, I was like, yes. People are saying that it reminds them of Burberry Her. Now, and Burberry Her Elixir. Now, I get that. Because I forget Burberry Her has strawberries, a strawberry note, a berry note in it. Now, this is the Burberry Her Elixir that I have. And...
do I get that? Yeah, but I, I, I feel like with strawberry letter, I get more of the strawberry. Now, something in Burberry Her Original, I love to hate. Like, I bought it, Burberry Her Original, wore it when it first came out. This is before it was all the buzz. And I gave it to my grandma. And because she came here, she was here, and I was like, Grandma, you like this? Here, have it. You know, but there's something in Burberry Her that bothers me. I don't know what it is, but it bothers me in the dry night. I don't know what it is. It drives me nuts, okay? And so, if we're comparing this to Burberry Her, the original, or the elixir, I can see why. Because when you first spray Burberry Her, you get that strawberry. You get that. But I like this better because Burberry Her, something in that annoys the crap out of me. So, if you have that same feeling of Burberry Her... And you don't know what it is in that that makes you smell, makes you feel like, oh, no. This is a grown and sexy strawberry. I feel like if you took YSL Montpourri and mixed it with mixed it with Burberry, her, you would get strawberry letter. Or if you took YSL Montpourri, I'm sorry, if you took Into the Night by Bath and Body Works and you mixed it with Burberry, her, you would get strawberry leather. I feel like this would layer well with Into the Night because I believe Into the Night has a raspberry or berry note in it. If you check out my review that I recently did on Miss Dior Eau de Parfum, or no, not Eau de Parfum, Parfum, you'll note that it has strawberry in it. This is very similar along those lines, except this has a more prominent strawberry note in it. You definitely get strawberry. But you don't get a jammy street jammy sweet strawberry. You get a sweet fresh strawberry, but not a jammy strawberry if that makes sense. And then what grounds this is the earthy note and the amber. So while this fragrance is sweet, it almost gives it gives lipstick vibe. You know, like that, you know, like lipstick, some lipsticks have that smell. That's the vibe that it gives. But it doesn't give, oh, lipstick, ugh, not that. I'm going to let this sit and I'm going to come back and then give you guys my thoughts on what I think. So let me let it sit on my skin. Um, I'm going to spray. In fact, let me take the Burberry Hurry Elixir on this side and just because they're just for just for ish and giggles. Right. And see. I'll be back. Get a snack and come on back. OK, I'm back. So, yeah, it's strawberry is very prominent. This is the Burberry Elixir. In comparison, I actually like Strawberry Letter better. Burberry Elixir is a little bit more creamy. Burberry Her Elixir, I should say. Now, there's something in this, too, that gives me that little bit of a lipsticky smell. And I don't know what that is. I think this will layer well with Apples and Champagne by Bath and Body Works also. And Strawberry Pound Cake, if you wore that, I think it would sweeten it up some. But if you want something that is strawberry, but a little bit more mature, a little bit more sexy, then I think Strawberry Letter is, is the way to go. Now, is it knock your socks off? Again, if you love strawberry and you want a more sexier, grown-up take on it, then this is definitely a slay. Is it out of this world and you have to have it? I would say it can stay. Like, stay its ass in a store or on, online or wherever. I feel like you need to get your nose on this before you can actually make a decision. Am I keeping this and adding this to my collection? Yes. Am I going to wear it? Absolutely. As spring is here, I feel like this is a perfect springtime fragrance. I'm going to 
In fact, maybe I'll wear it to bed tonight and see how I feel about it when I wake up in the morning. Um, but I honestly feel like this is a nice brunch. This is a nice, nice daytime fragrance. It can also be turned into a nighttime fragrance. And the more I smell it, the more I'm liking it. Because I will say that the strawberry, even though that's the top note, I can tell you that I smell it throughout the fragrance. Yeah, this is this is this is this is Mon Paris without and Burberry elixir without so much patchouli. Let me get one more spray. Let me spray one more time. Let me do a little more, a little one more, more spray. Okay. Yeah, that thing juicy. If you took Pure Seduction by Victoria's Secret and added a adult and made it grown and sexy. This is what you got. If you took um, Eden Juicy Apple, which I think Eden Juicy Apple by Kaylee reminds me of Pure Seduction, but this does as well. So if you put a Pure Seduction by Victoria's Secret and you made it more sexy, more grown, and more long lasting, you would get the you would get strawberry leather. Okay, so I hope that helps y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Um, tuning in. Thank you guys for all your prayers and all your sending me recovery. Um, my hand is recovering. It's, it's coming along. Um, I am in therapy and it's helping me. And just thank you. Like this experience has taught me that your life can change in a matter of moments. So be grateful for all the things that you have. Even if it's something as simple as just having your fingers and your hands to operate and do certain things, your eyes to see. Um yeah and that's it so i am gonna come to you guys with a new video about being that i have passed 2k i told you i was gonna answer 12 to 22 questions to celebrate that i am at 2k and over 2k so that video is coming to you guys pretty soon please make sure you drop any drop any questions that you think that you want to ask me that you want me to put in the video and as always stay elevated stay humble stay beautiful and stay blessed